Eleanor Whitestrake was correct. Millions of Altmer must die. Hello, everybody. <laughs> this is a video about Skyrim. And, uh, well, really, the other scrolls. And, um... <laughs> um... <laughs> okay, okay, so, uh... Let me get started my history with the Elder Scrolls. Uh, I am a literal sky baby. <laughs> Not in the sense is that, uh, well, um, Morrowind came out a few, not years, but months, uh, before my birth. I was born in 2002. Um, Oblivion came out when I was four, I think. And then Skyrim came out when I was about nine? I think. <laughs> Hold on, the, the math might not be correct, but, you know. Uh, my first experience with the Elder Scrolls was seeing uh, my uh, my stepfather uh, play a game where uh, this dude, like, uh, he was playing a dude with, a, like, a lightning ball in his hands and a fireball in his hands. He just kept shooting enemies with it. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's my first uh, time seeing the Elder Scrolls, uh, watching somebody else play Skyrim. <laughs> so yeah, um, uh, I love the Elder Scrolls. It is my uh, it is one of my favorite uh, video game universes. Um, you know, I've been. It's not the only thing I play or watch. Um, where the hell is my? Uh... There it is. There it is. Right. You know, have uh, my Tolkien books here. You know, and stuff. It's not. It's not really the only thing I read or play. Um, but I, I still love the Elder Scrolls, and yeah, even though it's going, even though the company that makes the Elder Scrolls is really going downhill, but Bethesda is not really a good company, and I have no hope for the Elder Scrolls Six. But you know, I, I really like the series. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about is. Uh, Yeah, like how Skyrim messed up the lore of the rest of the series. And uh, here's the thing. I, I genuinely love Skyrim. Skyrim is uh, uh, one of... Skyrim is the first Elder Scrolls game I was exposed to. It's the first one I played. Um, it's the first one that I've modded extensively. Um, <laughs> you know, and I, I, really, I really do like the game, even though it does have its issues. Like, uh, I don't consider it a real RPG, for one. Um, uh, it does mess up the lore of the rest of the series, like I've already said. Um, frankly, like, Skyrim does have a lot of good, but also just a lot of, um, a lot of things. If, uh, let's say if I did, uh, like the Elder Scrolls games, I mean, if I did play the other, other Elder Scrolls games before Skyrim, I would be disappointed. Like, there's no hand-to-hand -hand tree, there is no, um... I'm trying to remember if Unarmored was a thing. <laughs> anyway, fake fan, fake fan! But anyway, <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, uh, so, yeah. Um, I guess starting off, I'd like to say, uh, dragons were not part of Nord lore before Skyrim. Like, uh, the, the entire, the voice, you know, the thum was a blessing by Kine or Kinnereth. And, you know, like, <laughs> you know, they just kind of like, oh, it's, it's all Akatosh now. It's all, it's all dragons. All right, Alduin, he isn't the Nordic interpretation of Akatosh. No, he is. He, he was he was always a, a Nordic god. See, Akatosh, yes, yes. Honestly, I, th I just think that's like absolute bullshit. Like, okay, you're telling me that the god that was, you know, always into like, uh, you know, helping the elves, uh, hated Shore, aka Lorcan, uh, gave the voice to a bunch of worshippers of Kine in Shore. Are, are you fucking serious? Like, <laughs> so that, that's that's one war break. Um, uh, a bunch. There's also a bunch of other stuff. Um, 
uh, Labyrinthian. Like, okay, you don't have to do the same story that you did in uh, Elder Scrolls Arena, but like Labyrinthian, you know, it, it had a story behind it. It had this entire uh, thing about two brothers, if I remember correctly. It has this, it has this entire thing about two brothers, you know, uh, in the labyrinth, and there's like. I believe there's like two ways to go about it. There is one that reflects uh, one of the brothers being more um, simple, <laughs> and another where it's like ridiculously complicated. So you know, I, I thought that was that was cool when I played Arena. You know, the Labyrinthian was called Labyrinthian for a reason. Instead, uh, in Skyrim, Labyrinthian is just another fucking dungeon, like another fucking dungeon. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. We are holding the staff of Magnus. Magnus. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, another thing is that uh, they, they really messed up a lot of Skyrim's creatures. Um, honestly, I, I think the Falmer are uh, one of the better additions. I, I do genuinely... I don't remember if the Falmer were ever mentioned uh, before Skyrim, but I, I genuinely like uh, the Skyrim Falmer. But uh, um, honestly, I don't like what they did with the werebears. Like, the werebears in lore books were everywhere in Skyrim. They were everywhere in the province. Right? And uh, we don't see werebears except for Solstein, which is a DLC. They're like, oh shit, we forgot the werebears. I was like... <laughs> It's one of the unique things about the province. <laughs> Why would you forget? Anyway. So, yeah. Um, uh, they they also um, messed up the Volcars. Because, you know, Volcars were like ice vampires in the lore. They were, they were like, you know, going through the ice and, and shit and just like popping out of like the sea of... So not sea of... Sea of ghosts. Whatever the fuck. And, <laughs> and just like eating people <laughs> like they they these were like absolute monsters in, in the lore books <laughs> i loved them well i mean they, they were only like mentioned a few times but i i just imagined them just popping out of the ice <laughs> so yeah and uh Volcahars were just a bunch of like edgy in, in skyrim they were just a bunch of edgy like uh, non-ice vampires so yeah um they were they didn't have that many vampire clans it was it was literally just um, the, the random ass vampires that would appear, and then the Volcahars. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, uh, yeah, you know, it's, Skyrim has uh, a lot of lore breaks and retcons, uh, probably more than even SEO, like the Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, I don't really play the Elder Scrolls online, but, um, you know, I've, uh, heard a few, um, I watch Fudge Muppet. <laughs> I watch Kotho as well, uh, the, the, uh, the mod guy, the guy that explains Vigilant, but, uh, yeah, honestly, um, maybe, honestly, uh, what is there else to talk about, um, I think I just explained uh, everything. Like, honestly, many of the storyline, many of the quest lines are also pretty terrible. Uh, they're very quick to get through. Um, that doesn't mean it's necessarily a bad thing, just because something is quick. But you know, for an Elder Scrolls game where it's like you um, normally you have to work to get the titles that it, you're given. You know, it's like, okay, I just do a few quests, and then suddenly I am, uh, the, I am the what, uh, the, the leader of this guild, leader of this group. You know, I don't, I don't think it's very good. I mean, okay, okay. It's one thing to join multiple groups, but it's another to fucking lead all of them. <laughs> like, that's, that's fucking insane. Why, why did they think that was a good idea? <laughs> like, honestly, like, uh. Okay, okay. If I'm if I'm guild master of the thieves guild, why would I also be the harbinger of the companions, the archmage in the college of Winterhold? 
the you know etc like that doesn't really make that much sense honestly um you know oblivion uh i, I think oblivion had the same problem where you could become <laughs> where like uh you could become very high ranked in each of the guilds uh, i don't remember if you could become leader or not but uh yeah uh, it's, it's been a while since i played oblivion um I, th I think Morrowind, uh, you have a selection between uh, either the Houses of Morrowind or the Guilds of the Empire, which was really cool. So, yeah. Um, not sure what else to talk about. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Anniversary Edition is fucking terrible, right? Um, I bought it for my uh, Xbox, and... Uh, you know, like, um, you know, like, I have an Xbox and a PC. Uh, I, my PC version doesn't have Anniversary Edition, but my Xbox version does. And, you know, like, it, it just shoves quests into your face. Like, motherfucker, you don't know who I am. <laughs> Why are you giving me all this shit already? <laughs> like, it, it is... Uh, the Creation Glove content, aka okay, Anniversary Edition, a lot of the time is immersion breaking. Like, there's genuinely some, uh, what I would call good content. Um, like, I'm trying to think, but I did enjoy some content in the Anniversary Edition. But, you know, uh, I, I, w I wouldn't be willing to spend, like, $20 on it again. <laughs> Like, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty terrible. So, uh, yeah. Honestly, the spells are nice, but... <laughs> okay, well, I, I think I'm about done with everything in the Elder Scrolls at the moment. 